So you are wanting to use these uh, entrance graphics and stuff for uh, Tajiri and put them into the game. Um, there are a couple things that you are going to need to be doing. Um, first of all, uh, you don't need to have anything at rad videos or Adobe After Effects unless you want it to be perfect. But uh, this right here is old. Uh, this is from 2K24, so we are technically going to be porting this to 2K25. Um, you're probably going to have to do this for a lot because there hasn't been very many graphics made. Um, if it is graphics for 2K25, you don't have to worry about it, but anything before that up until like 2K22 to 2K24, you're going to need to update this. Um, however, we're going to go ahead and get that installed like really easily, uh, just in case you don't want to do any of that. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pull up a new folder. Um, we're going to go into my, um, into Bake Me. Uh, under Bake Me, you can go into Movies. Um, under Movies, you can literally just create uh, a folder called GFX. And then you can import all of that, those graphics into it. Um, once you have done this, it is going to be in where you bake, so you are good. It is now going to be in the game. However, we want it to be assigned to certain slots and stuff like that, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, underneath Tribute 25, uh, we are going to click GFX Manager. We are then going to click Add a Character GFX. We're going to go ahead and type in Tajiri. We're going to click Auto Assign. What this is going to do, it's just going to click that it's going to select like the next five that are free. And we are going to um, import those files. We're going to go ahead and I'm, I know where my file is. So I'm going to go ahead, click tribute. We're going to go into movies, Tajiri. And I know the first one is Titan Drawn. So I'm going to click the entrance 1075. Then we have banner. Apron. and then stage. Perfect. Now, I don't have a barricade for this, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna delete the ID there. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's just these that are being imported, and then I'm gonna click Add Character Graphics. Boom, success. Character graphics have been added. So now we're good. Uh, we also want to import the music. Like I said, I already have this MP3 of Tajiri on my desktop. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to open Sound Editor. This is another free program. This one doesn't need Patreon or anything like that. Literally just search Sound Editor WWE 2K25. Um, you are going to uh, convert your MP3. So let's go ahead and uh, go to my desktop. I'm going to go and pull my MP3 right there. Um, I do a volume boost of 10, um, but you can change that if you want. I just like volume boost of 10 because it makes it like about as loud as like the in-game audio and stuff like that. A lot of people do different stuff. Um, I have mine exporting to my desktop as well, so we're good. And right here is my .wem. This is what I'm going to be importing. So to uh, use um, this, you're going to have to actually import custom music. Uh, this is going to be in the tribute information here underneath extras so underneath extras you're going to have music pack custom music pack and a readme and custom data uh xml read this file and properly get custom music added because it makes it so much easier for future modding um, as you can see i'm going to go ahead and open up my custom music pack and i've already imported about uh 78 songs so uh you uh, that i highly recommend getting custom music to work because it makes it so you can just replace them and you don't have to worry about uh re renaming stuff and everything so it just makes it easier um under music tracks 3079 i'm going to go ahead and import my tajiri.wem it's going to be updated we're going to go ahead and click x on this we're going to go into add theme under music id i know that was 3079 and the star name is Tajiri. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to default because that's what you have to do to make sure it's like 
selected in the you can select it in entrance and stuff like that then you're going to click add music track it's going to add the music track successfully and now it's going to be selectable in the game i'm going to go ahead i've already imported the graphics i've already added the theme so i'm going to go ahead and bake my my tribute folder again now i'm going to go ahead and boot up wwe all right so let's go ahead and take a look we're going to go back into entrance for that tajiri we're going to see if that music has been added correctly we're going to see if those themes or the movies have been added correctly so boom right there tajiri and i have it muted so you can't hear it but it, it's working perfectly let's go ahead and check and see if titantron movies up there it is boom we're going to go ahead and select everything here for tajiri And we're going to go ahead and give this a nice watch and we're going to see see if all the graphics are working for everything. Boom! As you can see, he's coming out. There's that Tajiri behind him. Everything looks awesome. Boom. He is good. Uh, however, as you can see, that stage is messed up. There is like weird boxes and stuff like that on that right side. Um, the Tajiri in the middle, it's kind of clipping like there's a video underneath. That is because it needs to be updated for WWE 2K25 graphics. However, I will say that um, you can get by with this if you don't use certain uh, certain stadiums. So if you only use like, I don't know, like custom ones um, that only have a um, big Titantron, uh, you're, you're going to be fine. You, you don't need to change this at all. However, if you do use like NXT arenas or anything like that, you are going to need to update the stage that you already have into the 2K25 um, setting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that in the next video. Um, but yeah, you fully properly updated this, everything good for this Tajiri. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.